Hello, you are welcome. How to find A plus B in this nice algebra equation from here? Let's factor A out on what is given here. Then this be, this left with A plus 2B on this two thing. Then close bracket, we have plus B now equals to 8. Then what we have here? We can multiply and divide by 2 here. So this becomes 2a into bracket 1 plus 2b then over 2 plus b equals to a. So here, when 2 cancel 2 here, we still have the same thing. Then here, we can write it as 2a into bracket 1 over 2 plus 2b over 2 then plus b equals to 8 that is now we have 2a into bracket half plus here to cancel out we have b then plus here we have b equals to 8 then we can make what we have there and create it also on this side we have half plus b here which is also b plus half so let's add half to both sides in order to have b plus half here then we have 2a into bracket here same thing as b plus half then plus here we have b plus half then we also add half to this side we have 8 plus half then from here this now become 2a into bracket b plus half then plus b plus half you can put this as well in bracket then equals to here this same thing as 8 and here which is 17 over 2 then what we have here we can factor b plus half out so we have b plus half common then what is left here is 2a then what will be left here is plus 1 then equals to 17 over 2 then next from here we can multiply both sides by 2 then here 2 we cancel out then this give us 2 into bracket b plus half then close bracket open bracket 2a plus 1 equals to 17 then here 2 here can open the bracket here and we have 2b plus here 2 times half that's 1 then close bracket then we have into bracket 2a plus 1 now equals to 17 then from here 17 can be written as 1 times 17 also we can write it as 17 times 1 or we can write it as minus 1 times minus 17 or we have minus 17 times minus 1 so if the first case we have this as case 1 and we have this as case 2 then for case 1 it implies that we have the first part of case 1 that will be 2b plus 1 times 2a plus 1 equals to 1 times 17 and from here it implies that 2b plus 1 is equals to 1 and we have 2a plus 1 equals to 17 and also the second part of that which is 17 times 1 it implies that we equate the first one which is 2b plus 1 we then be equal to 17 now where 2a plus 1 will then be equal to 1 and when we solve from here on this side we have 
two v here, v equals to one minus one, which is zero. If I go side by two here, we have v equals to zero from here. And on this side, taking one here, something minus one, that's sixteen. So we have two a equals to sixteen here. Then dividing both sides by two, we have a to be equal to eight. And also solving here, we have also taking one here, we have two b now equals to something minus one, which is sixteen. And also dividing both sides by two, we have b equals to eight here. Or on this side, we have two a equals to one minus one zero. And a equals to zero a, then which implies that a plus b we are finding on this side will either be zero plus eight, which is equals to eight on the first part of case one, or it might be a plus b. Okay, a. In the second part, a is zero and b is eight, and in the first part, a is eight and b is zero, which is also eight. So, whichever way, in first case, we have a plus b to be equal to eight from here. Then, for the second case, which is we have minus one times minus seventeen, and also minus 17 times minus 1 then what we have which is 2b plus 1 multiplied by 2a plus 1 will now be equal to minus 1 times minus 17 for the first part of that then it implies that 2b plus 1 here is minus 1 and then we have 2a plus 1 equals to minus 17 and for the second part when we interchange this we have 2b plus 1 to be equal to minus 17 here and we have 2a plus 1 to be equal to minus 1 here then when we solve on this side we have b will be equal to here we have minus one minus one minus two so two b equals to minus two then that means here b is equal to minus two divided by two that's minus one so we have b equals to minus one and here when we take one here that's minus one so we have two a equals to minus 17 minus 1 minus 18 if I go side by 2 that means a equals to minus 9 here so a is minus 9 and b is minus 1 and from here as well when we take 1 here it implies that 2b now equals to minus 18 then from here if I go side by 2 b equals to minus May. Then also from here, 2a equals to minus 2. Then divide both sides by 2, a equals to minus 1. So we can see that here, the value of b here is the value of a here. And the value of a here is the value of b here. So here we have the same result for a plus b as well. That is a plus b here. When we use the first a, that will be minus 9 for a, then plus minus 1, which implies minus 9 minus 1, which is minus 10. So a plus b here is therefore equals to minus 10. So for the second case, we have a plus b equals to minus 10. And here we have the solution to the given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos and turn on the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next class. Bye for now.